Well, we had our own Woodstock, the motorcycle Woodstock. The only event of its kind in the United States. Roger was the best rider there for many years. He never won. I, I hit a little lip as I, I went off. He ends up cartwheeling this thing. Wolsink again? God, who cares? He didn't like me to win it all the time. They were in Southern California, and they were in our backyard. Somebody's got to put up a fight. All the Americans on the hill that day were solidly behind one American rider, and that was Brad Lackey. So I wanted to get in there and get as many points as I could and get the hell out of there and get back to Europe where the ground's soft. And it's going to be a surprise leader. Number 23, Marty Motes. Who was Motes? The crowd was going nuts and it was cool. You know, I was going, damn, it's not for me. Nobody knew who Marty Motes was. We were excited beyond belief, but we just thought, well, how long is this going to last? A momentary loss of concentration, and that is cost in the lead. Marty Motes was a total wild card. Danny Laporte has become the second young American to lead in this first photo. Everyone rallied to those riders. Hell yes, everybody wanted to see an American win. So now there are two young Americans at the front of the pack. 16, Danny Laporte, 23, Marty Motes. There goes Laporte, off the side of the track. That was it, I knew it was over. Marty Motes, who led throughout the first half of this moto, is back in the lead again. I don't think any of us really believe that he could come back and win the second moto, but we all had a hope and prayer. Two young Americans at the front of the pack. Oh, how times have changed in Grand Prix racing.